adoption then mm. for organizations looking at AI, I think it's very tempting to just, you know, jump onto the bandwagon mm. and say, you know, this sounds really exciting and really sexy and glamorous. Let's just do some AI. Mm. But I think, I guess when it comes to technologies and innovations, one of the sort of a, um, important lesson that people have is, you know, don't force the technology into anything, but think about your problems and use the technology. Yeah, so, uh, that's right. Uh, so the first thing is, um, you have to understand the space. It's actually pretty tacky. So it's not very easy. It's not like you have a conversation with ChatGPT, your business problem will be solved. You need to have someone who really understands your business use cases, where is the pain point of your business opportunity and the business opportunities. But also you need to have people who understand technology deeply and how to translate the business opportunity into technology adoption in this space. Um, so you. I'm also like we need people who understand data, but also understand technology to, to build it very quickly. And this is very different than a traditional large IT project. You know, traditionally when we, when people did large IT project, a huge consultants form, you have right. very linear approach for years, right? This is not that way. It's very agile. You know, you need to brainstorm. You need to test and learn because none of us is you know, it's, it's sure at the moment where it leads to us, right? However, if you don't do things earlier and you may might be lagging behind as an organization. Mm -hmm. You have a very fascinating mm. story that you told where, mm. whereby you brought along, you know, your organization, your staff, your board members onto this uh, AI journey to get everybody sort of up to speed in terms of you know, what the technology is capable of. Can you share with us some of these sort of, uh, maybe some success lessons that we can all take from yeah. that? Yeah, so I think the first one is education is important to make sure that people have some real life experience uh, to, I call it play with AI in the, in the enterprise environment. So basically, you have to set up a secured environment for people to test and learn. Uh, so that people have, once you, I call it playground, right? When you have a playground with AI, people have a sense around what it can do, what it can't do. The second one is, um, I also think each organization needs to define the guidance to people. What you, you can do, what you can't do. For example, cybersecurity, concern you can't you know put the most confidential business information you know to play with AI you know personal information you know you have to be compliant with the uh, national security law everywhere right all of this uh, organization needs to define some standard and guidance and communicate actively to the to people so that that's what we did in our organization educate educate and educate the second one I also think a p the technology people have to be more hands-on to learn quickly. There are many ways of learning this, right? You can learn from doing, but you can also learn from getting to know more information and you, you build your use cases. So, so that's how you learn quickly. You need to have that type of technology folks to be, to be immersed into your business to, in order to adopt this new technology, but also build your live AI cases. So it's a reiterate of test and learn all the time. Right, okay. So it's not something that... Uh...